Bruce here in Salem, Varsity. Lady knows, Coach. Coach Rashawn Dillard. Coach, how you doing today? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Good. Coach, you guys went undefeated last week, but you had, you know, a couple close wins. Mm -hmm. uh, one being against Newton, 60-59, that cross-county rival, you know, a little bit. Right. So talk a little bit about that game, Coach. Um, well, we also, we've had, had, had faced some adversity this week. Um, we were able to overcome that at Winder, which was a really good win for us as well, which is more important because that's a region game. Um, however, everybody was at the Newton game. Um, we were able to score when we needed to score. We did have some mental breakdowns, but we were able to pull through again through that adversity to score at critical times in order to pull it out. Coach, you said before the game, you know, fouling with, I mean, playing defense without fouling and rebounding was going to be the key to the Correct. game. It seemed like it was kind of off and on a little bit with you we guys. We rebounded coach. well, but we did not play defense well without fouling. And that's how they got to the line a lot and scored a lot when the, the, the clock was stopped. And we were able to stretch out a lead, but then they were able to kind of chip away at it every time we would start to foul. So that was one of the adversities that we had to overcome, but that's something that we'll definitely work on in practice. Coach, it seems like your team was really resilient. You know, two, like you said, two close wins, you know, mm -hmm. one being against Winder and the other one against Newton. Right. But talk a little bit about that. Well, a lot of times we've just gotten to the point of everything is not going to be a blowout. We try to play every possession as if it's the end of the game possession because typically it's not the last play that got you beat. It's all those small plays throughout the other quarters that have accumulated, and now everybody sees that last play. So we try to play it play by play every time an offensive defense series make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do and stay focused on that goal instead of the scoreboard and what the other team is doing. Coach, against um, Winder, uh, Shea scored 12 points, had a big game, and she also right. had a big game against Newton. Right. You know, she made some clutch plays down the stretch. Talk right. a little bit about her. And Shea scored those 12 points in a very limited amount of time on the floor. Um, Shea's very explosive with the ball in her hands. Not only that, she's also a pretty decent decision maker. She made a great decision at the last second to hit Paris at Winder because a lot of kids, they drive and all that's in their mind is, I've got to shoot it, but sometimes you got to rely on your teammates. Secondly, um, Newton did a box and one on her, so it was something that she'd never seen before. So she had to overcome that adversity throughout the game and really just trust that the things that we were running were going to work with her, even though she was being man-to-man. -man. So I think she really did a good job of um, being patient, taking whatever they got you, and also trusting her teammates. Okay, Coach, you got a stretch of road games coming mm -hmm. up. You know, I don't think you guys have a home game until the new year. <laughs> right. So talk a little bit about you know that upcoming stretch. Um, we've got Flowery Branch tomorrow, which is always going to be difficult going to Flowery Branch. We have Appalachia actually on Friday. We're at home Friday. And then we have Southwest Cab on Saturday. So a lot of times before the break, you start getting these two and three games in because you got to get those non-conference games in. But again, we try to protect home court and win the games that we should win so that we're sitting where we need to sit at the end of the region. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. AG Pruitt is your local heating and air service in Rockdale County. This should be your first call for your commercial and residential HVAC needs. 24-hour service and professional technicians separate AG Pruitt Heating and Air Service from all of the rest. Make sure for all of your heating and air needs, you call AG Pruitt Heating and Air Service at 770-342-9271. Again, that's 770-342-9271 for AG Pruitt Heating and Air Service.